welcome to the 12th session of this course. Uh, in the previous session, we um, did quite a bit of uh, revision of uh, the first quarter's material and a little of that uh, is still left, which we will uh, complete today along with covering some new ground. So, in the first quarter, we saw a um, uh, few verbs, total of 20 verbs we saw and these are uh, very common verbs, these 20 was in our first list, you must remember these and you must have used some and there was another list which has one of the most important verbs do among other things. And in this quarter, we will see uh, many more, more uh, verbs like that. Okay. And yes, in this, um, you have already seen the use of the first form, the second form and the fourth form. Okay. So, the first form and the fourth form you used in uh, simple present, okay. uh, we run, he runs. And this one you saw in the use of past tense, I asked a question, he learned this lesson, okay. the horse ran fast. These two you have not seen till now in our lessons, of course you have otherwise seen these somewhere, but in our lessons these two have not come till now. And um, we make note of one issue here that these two forms, third and fourth, fifth forms uh, are essentially adjectives and the fifth form um, can come as an adverb also and once in a while as noun also. Slowly over the next uh, few sessions, next few lessons we will see the use of these as adjectives and use of these as adverbs also and then as nouns. Okay. So, today's lesson is preponderantly on these third forms and fifth forms. Akshat, can you read the read out the first line? The shop does not take sold items back. The shop does not take sold items back. Dukan biki hui chije wapas nahi leta hai. Kaisi chije? Biki hui. Achi chije, buri chije, mangi chije. Sasti chije, biki hui chije, adjective hai, thik hai, yani ki kaisi chije, wo bata raha hai, what kind of items, sold items. So, this word sold qualifies the noun items, okay. So, it is doing the task of qualifying this noun, okay. So, this is the typical use of the third form of verbs, okay. Next. You ate packed food. You ate packed food. Kya matlab hoa iska? Pack kiya hua khana khaya. Thik hai? Kaisa khana? Bakse mein band khana. Thik hai? Kaisa khana? Good food, bad food, stale food, fresh food, packed food. Okay? So, dabbe mein band khana. So, kis type ka khana? Woh bata ja raha hai. What kind of food? Packed food. Fine? Uh, Shashank, next one. He listens to the spoken word carefully. Words. Words. He yeah. listens to the spoken words carefully. What kind of words? Spoken, spoken words. Okay. So this is qualifying the words. The word words. Similarly, did you tell him about the fallen tree? Which tree? Fallen, fallen tree. Okay. So fallen is qualifying the word tree. Similarly, we will read the printed copy of the document, not the handwritten one. Printed printed copy. Do not bother over the broken radio. We are talking about the broken radio, okay? not the correct radio. Okay? Similarly, you can make sentences with boiled potato, beaten dog, taught lesson, drunk men, damaged car, defeated army and so on. Many such things you can find. You see all these adjectives boiled, beaten, taught drunk, damaged, defeated, these are actually third forms of verbs, okay, which come in the third 
column in our lists. Now, here in all places above you have seen that adjective the third form coming before the noun which it qualifies, but sometimes you need to put it after the noun. For example, he drank up the milk kept for the baby. Is this ka matlab kya hua? Bacche ke liye rakhe huye dood ko wo pi gaya ya wo bacche ke liye rakhe huye dood ko pi gaya. See this kept which milk? Kept milk. Wo wala dood jisko rakha gaya tha. Kis ke liye rakha gaya tha? Ye phir alag se bataya ja raha hai for the baby. Here the adjective is coming after the milk. Okay. Normally, the place for putting that adjective, putting an adjective for a noun is before that in this kind of thing. Okay. So, he drank up the fresh milk, he drank up the pure milk. So, adjectives are coming before the milk, okay. but here he, it is not that he drank up the kept milk. That is how it would come if for the baby was missing. Suppose in this sentence, we decided to not to keep for the baby. Okay, बच्चे के लिए ये बात नहीं रखना सेंटेंस में रखे हुए दूध को वो पी गया तो क्या बोलेंगे ही ड्रैंक अप द केप्ट मिल्क ओके या मिल्क केप्ट बाय समबडी फॉर समबडी इन द फ्रिज समथिंग सो व्हाट इज कमिंग लेटर दैट इज एक्चुअली समथिंग लाइक व्हाट गेट्स कनेक्टेड टू वर्ब्स हियर यू सी द रूट ऑफ दिस एडजेक्टिव इज एक्चुअली इन अ वर्ब सो लाइक वर्ब इट कैन टेक ऑब्जेक्ट like verb it can be connected with a phrase and so on and when such objects or phrases come to get attached with this then those things you can keep only later in our own language this problem is not there because we attach this for the baby by the um, servant in the fridge etc we attach these things before okay so in a natural place so bacche ke liye rakhe hue dood ko okay here everything cannot be put in that manner in english because if you put kept earlier like this here then kept for the baby there would be no place to insert that for the baby okay you would have to say he drank up the milk milk which milk kept uh, okay he, he drank up the kept milk but then you will have to say he drank up the kept for the baby milk as if kept for the baby is one word, but that is not how you can put. So, in order to give a place for this phrase for the baby, you need to put that kept after milk and then you continue. So, the relation of this third form of keep kept with milk is adjective and verb. On this side, the relationship of kept for this phrase is the way a verb would behave with a phrase connected to it for the baby bacche ke liye okay next also is similar she took the seat reserved for the chief guest shashank iska matlab kya hua jo chief guest ne pehle se nirdharit thi wo le li theek chief guest ke liye arakshit seat ko usne le liya theek hai see reserved is coming after seat if this phrase for the chief guest were not there say for the chief guest is not there that whole thing is gone we do not want such a big sentence then you will not say she took the seat reserved you would say she took the reserved seat okay so reserved will come its uh, come in its ordinary place like an adjective in this case with reserved you want to connect for the chief guest so in order to make a space for for the chief guest you must keep reserved after the seat. Okay. So, this is how the adjective and noun in such situations exchange their places. Similarly, okay, this is actually a little more complicated example. Beaten in the war, the king shouted angrily. Larai mein haare hue, raja ne jor se chillaya. Right? Yani ki larai mein haarne ke baad, larai mein haar kar. या हारे हुए राजन राजा ने भी वो भी चल सकता है मतलब निकालने में बिल्कुल सही गुस्से से चिल्लाया एंग्रीली परफेक्ट सो हुई किंग द बीटन किंग जो जीता वो नहीं जो हारा वो 
ٹھیک ہے سو ہیئر دا بیٹن کنگ لیکن بیٹن جو ہے وہ کنگ سے اتنے دور کے بعد آ رہا ہے اور یہ پورا کا پورا سامان یہاں پر آ رہا ہے تو یہاں پر ایک کوما دیا جائے گا ٹھیک ہے بیٹن ان دا وار دا کنگ شاؤٹیڈ اینگریلی ٹھیک ہے سو لیکن کوالیفائی یہ والا ایڈجیکٹیو اس کو کر رہا ہے لیکن اس ان دا وار کے ساتھ بیٹ ورب کا ریلیشن شپ وہی ہے سر وی آلسو سے جنگ میں آرنے کا کارن لا جا غصے سے چلایا یس دیٹ از سم تھنگ وچ یو ٹیک ایز اے میننگ یس دس واز دا یوز آف تھرڈ فارمس ایز ایڈجیکٹیو نیکسٹ از ففتھ فارم اکشت ریڈ دی سینٹینس اینڈ ٹیل دا میننگ وی سو دا رننگ بوائز ہم نے بھاگتے ہوئے لڑکوں کو دیکھا ہم لوگوں نے دوڑتے ہوئے لڑکوں کو دیکھا نیکسٹ گیو ملک ٹو دا کرائنگ بیبی روتے ہوئے بچوں کو دودھ دے دو روتے ہوئے بچے کو دودھ دو ہیئر باکنگ ڈاگس سیلڈم بائٹ نہیں نہیں بھونکنے والے کتے کبھی کبھار ہی کاٹتے ہیں سیلڈم مطلب کبھی کبھار اوکے بھونکنے والے کتے کبھی کبھار ہی کاٹتے ہیں ششنک گروئنگ پلانٹس نیڈ کیئر بڑھتے ہوئے ہوئے پودوں کو کیئر کس طرح دیکھ بھال بہت صحیح بڑھتے ہوئے پودوں کو دیکھ بھال کی ضرورت پڑتی ہے ٹھیک ہے وی سو دا رننگ بوائز وچ بوائز رننگ بوائز رننگ اوکے دوڑتے ہوئے گیو ملک ٹو دا کرائنگ بیبی وچ بیبی کرائنگ بیبی روتے ہوئے بارکنگ ڈاگز سیلڈم بائٹ بارکنگ ڈاگز کس ٹائپ کے کتے بارکنگ بھونکتے ہوئے گروئنگ پلانٹس نیڈ کیئر گروئنگ بڑھتے ہوئے کیسے پودے بڑھتے ہوئے ٹھیک ہے سو یو سی دیز آر آل کوالیفائرس آپریٹنگ ایز ایڈجیکٹیوس اوکے سملرلی یو کین یوز دیز کائنڈ آف تھنگس ان یور سینٹینسز سنگنگ برڈ واشنگ مشین لونگ فادر فلوئنگ واٹر ٹیچنگ جاب ڈانسنگ گرلس رائٹ Now, see some examples in which the adjective, the fifth form, will be put after the noun which it is qualifying. He wants the car standing outside the house. Okay? What does it mean? No. He needs a car outside the house. Or he needs a car outside the house. گھر کے باہر کھڑی کار چاہیے بالکل صحیح اوکے ہی آر یو سی ہوئچ کار اسٹینڈنگ کار فائن یہ ایڈجیکٹیو کا کام کر رہا ہے اسٹینڈنگ کار اسٹینڈ ایک ورب بھی ہے جس ورب سے یہ ایڈجیکٹیو بنایا گیا ہے اوکے ففتھ فارم بنا کے اس کا ایڈجیکٹیو بنایا گیا ہے لیکن اوریجنلی وہ ورب تھا اور ورب سے اٹھا کے اس کو ایڈجیکٹیو بنایا گیا ہے تو اس ورب کے ساتھ آپ دوسری چیزیں لگا سکتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے یہاں پر فی الحال لگایا گیا ہے کہ کہاں کھڑی تھی اس کے بارے میں بات چیت ٹھیک ہے یا کہاں کھڑی ہے تو اسٹینڈنگ آؤٹ سائڈ دا ہاؤس تو یہ آؤٹ سائڈ دا ہاؤس فریز جو ہے اس ففتھ فارم کے ساتھ وہ ایسے ہی کنیکٹڈ ہے جیسے کہ ففتھ فارم جیسے کہ ورب کے ساتھ فریز کنیکٹ ہوتے ہیں اس لیے فریز ورب کے بعد آیا ہے اور اس کے لیے جگہ بنانے کے لیے کار کے بعد اسٹینڈنگ رکھنا پڑا ہے اگر آؤٹ سائڈ دا کار نہیں ہوتا آؤٹ سائڈ دا ہاؤس نہیں ہوتا تب یہ سینٹینس کیسے بنتا He wants the standing car. Okay? Next, Shashank. Read this line. The and girl sitting on the stage will sing. Jho hmm. ladkiya stage pe khadi hain, wo gaayin ki. The girl sitting on the stage will sing. Stage par baithi hui ladkiya gaana gaayegi. Next. She goes to the doctor talking her sister. Taking. Taking, taking her, her sister. sister. Matlab? Wo doctor ke paas gai, apni behen ko leke. جاتی ہے وہ اپنی بہن کو لے کر ڈاکٹر کے پاس جاتی ہے یہاں پر ایڈ ورب کا کام کر رہا ہے دیکھو شی گوز ٹو دا ڈاکٹر کیسے جاتی ہے کس طرح سے جاتی ہے بہن کو لے کر کس طرح سے جاتی ہے کس طرح کا ڈاکٹر نہیں پوچھا جا رہا ہے کس طرح سے جاتی ہے یعنی کہ ناؤن کو کوالیفائی کرنے کے لیے ادھر سے نہیں آ رہا ہے کچھ اس ورب کو کوالیفائی کرنے کے لیے آ رہا ہے تو یہ ٹیکنگ جو ہے ٹیکنگ جو ہے وہ گوز کو کوالیفائی کر رہا ہے ٹھیک ہے تو کیسے گوز کیسے جاتی ہے 
टेकिंग टेकिंग वाट तो टेक वर्ब जो है अपना ऑब्जेक्ट को भी साथ लेके आया है हर सिस्टर ओके सिमिलरली होल्डिंग हिज हैंड आई गाइडेड द चाइल्ड आई गाइडेड द चाइल्ड असली बात है इस सेंटेंस में हाथ पकड़कर मैंने बच्चे का मार्गदर्शन किया ठीक है हाथ पकड़कर मैंने बच्चे को गाइड किया यानी कि बच्चे को मदद किया गाइडेड मदद किया किस तरह से गाइड किया हाउ डिड आई गाइड हाथ पकड़कर होल्डिंग सो होल्डिंग जो है गाइड को क्वालिफाई कर रहा है लेकिन होल्डिंग एडजेक्टिव एडवर्ब जो है वो कहाँ से बना था होल्ड वर्ब से फिफ्थ फॉर्म बना के बनाया गया था तो इसलिए उसमें पीछे वर्ब का रूट भी है तो उस वर्ब का क्योंकि होल्डिंग वाट ऑब्जेक्ट हिज हैंड ठीक है सो so, ये इसका ऑब्जेक्ट है मिलजुल के ये एडवर्ब बना जो कि इस वर्ब को क्वालिफाई कर रहा है ठीक है ओके सिमिलरली यू डैमेज योर स्टमक बाई ईटिंग जंक फूड किस तरह से अपने पेट को बिगाड़ा गलत से गलत खाना खाकर बाई ईटिंग 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 से डैमेज किया सो बाई ईटिंग यहाँ पर जो है ना ईटिंग के साथ एक बाई लगा हुआ है लेकिन काम वही कर रहा है टेकिंग द बैग द चाइल्ड लेफ्ट फॉर स्कूल बस्ता लेकर बच्चा स्कूल के लिए चला गया रवाना हो गया ठीक सो लेफ्ट लेफ्ट को ये क्वालिफाई कर रहा है टेकिंग कैसे लेफ्ट कैसे गया कैसे रवाना हुआ लेकर ठीक है क्या लेकर बैग सो दिस इज क्वालिफाइंग लेफ्ट ओके प्रिंट द लेटर आफ्टर करेक्टिंग द मिस्टेक्स यहाँ पर प्रिंट द लेटर ये असली चीज़ है कब कब प्रिंट करना है आफ्टर करेक्टिंग द मिस्टेक्स सो दिस करेक्टिंग विथ आफ्टर आफ्टर करेक्टिंग दिस होल थिंग इज ऑपरेटिंग एज एडवर्ब ओके सो थर्ड फॉर्म टिपिकली सिट्स एज एडजेक्टिव एंड थर्ड फॉर्म एंड फिफ्थ फॉर्म सिट्स एज एडजेक्टिव एज वेल एज एज एडवर्ब ओके एनी क्वेश्चन टिल नाउ यस जस्ट मिनट थर्ड या फोर्थ फिफ्थ can write uh, past sentence like uh, after correcting the mistakes in the letter certainly certainly logical connections are same but the order gets changed certainly logical connection connections will be the same what are the uh, meaning of the arrows uh, that is what i was showing you that the fifth form connecting with the noun or the fifth form connecting with a verb shows the action of the fifth form as adjective when it is connecting a noun that is this thing this underlined word qualifies this word so this is operating as the adjective to this similarly this is operating as the adjective of this and this is operating as the adverb to this since this is verb so the qualifier is adverb okay since this is noun the qualifier is adjective so this underline is to show the fifth form here and this arrow is to show which noun or verb it is qualifying okay anything else third form is easy so not much doubts no not much questions perhaps and uh, some words yeah akshay uh eight aim bail wait brain chain claim drain fail rail gain grain jail mate mail main Nail. Okay. Shashank. Paid, pain, clean, raid. 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 Rain, sail, spain, sprain, stain, strain, tail, trail, rain, vein, weight, waste. Okay. Rishan. A different sound. 
till now you have heard the sound a i as a fail gain grain and so on this is air air chair fair hair pair stair good so this is these are two sound patterns of the vowel combination a i in the last lesson we saw the sound patterns of vowel combination e a here we are studying a i after a i we will study i a kartik axial x x nahi axial axial Ax cardiac cordial crucial jovial mania media median racial radial serial spatial 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 trivial, trivial zodiac 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 shashank familiar judicial official artificial social special social special akshat see till now you have seen the sound of i a as e a okay and the last one is here that is not e a that is i a bias bias dial dial denial liar brial Right. Uh, uh, triad, triad. This is triad. T. Trial, while, masia. Uh, uh, um, you should not say um, triad, trial. It is triad, trial. Okay. Dial, bias, denial. Okay. These sounds, these words are fine. Yeah. Um, you know the uh, path of the sun in the uh, uh, in the background of the fixed stars is called the zodiac. Sir, orbit it is not called. It is also called ecliptic. Sir, why social special are in box? Oh yes. till now these ones are judicial official ear social and special are not social and special it is social okay here you were seeing you you saw ear here it is simply a slight ear sound is there social just a little stress not social okay so that difference is there so these are not uh, exactly this sound okay so see the difference between crucial and special social crucial and special okay yeah triad triad tikri jante ho tikri that is triad do mila ke hota hai pair teen ka set hota hai triad uh judicial judicial court related some judicial papers which will be needed in the court for the case or crucial. judicial procedure crucial crucial uh bahut zaruri very highly important crucial radial radius you know radius when you draw a circle the distance by which you open the compass that is the radius of the circle something going in the direction of the radius is radial axial axial if i rotate this like this Axel. yeah so or about my finger if i rotate this then this will be the axis of rotation about which something rotates okay axial is related to the axis yeah sir uh, messia or messiah um, both pronunciations uh, yeah. i have heard yes even me too i so. would uh, i typically say uh, messia because i find that is closer to the original which yeah. is arabic yes. masiha yes yes answer frail frail weak very weak meaning of mania pagalpan okay we continue and um this you of course remember um recently we have studied this 14 types 18 forms at the 
uh, near the close of the uh, first quarter of the course and we will uh, make some sentences uh, in these 14 forms with uh, some of these words. Okay, Akshat, we will do this exercise uh, orally. Okay. Uh, make a sentence with teach. The teacher teaches in the class. Okay, so this is present tense, positive sentence. Okay, so make a negative sentence like this. The teacher do not teaches in the class. The teacher do not teach in the class. What is wrong? Does, does not. The teacher does not teach in the class. Then what does she do? You see, I, I gave you the uh, fourth sentence in that line. Okay, then what does she do? Okay, that is, I gave you the interrogative sentence with a query. Then what does she do? Okay, the other question, which can be answered either in yes no. Tell one sentence like that. No, the teacher uh, does not teach. Me. Uh -uh. Question. Does she teach in the class? Does she teach in the class? Yes. Fine. Shashank, uh, in a different context, make four such sentences in past. Peace. You know the meaning of peace, right? Yes. Iran was a peaceful country. Okay, you have made a sentence with peaceful. Mm, uh, it was. It is a good sentence. Okay. So. Uh, have some practice of making sentences with uh, uh, this kind of words in all of these uh, different forms. Hmm? Okay, fine. So, we stop here and continue in our next session later. Okay?